up guys, welcome back to the channel. Another day and we are working on the beautiful E36. Well, I say beautiful because I think it's beautiful but maybe it's not so beautiful. It's uh, been through the wars this year and I did say that we weren't driving any events for the rest of the year but that has changed because this Friday we have Keep It Reek Friday Night Drifts but it's a very special one. Hurt from Hoonigans there. It's the Run The Wall layout which is a very special layout that hasn't been run in a very long time and of course the drifter and me had to bring the car out. I couldn't say no, so of course we opened the bank account back up and we are getting this thing ready to go drifting, which is really quite exciting if I'm honest. I always love driving, especially uh, at events like the one coming up, but also it seems like it's gonna be a really, really big event, potentially one of the biggest in a very long time. The weather is looking fantastic. It's just, everything's building up to be like the perfect scenario for a huge event. So I just wanna make sure the car's in tip top shape, ready to go. But as you can see, the car's looking a little worse for wear. We took out a water barrier um, last event, which is always fun. So we'll be going ahead. I'm just gonna, these flares are um, actually metal flares and they're tacked onto the body. Look at the rear of the car. It's all made to kind of move and shift as you hit walls and stuff. So there's a couple of wee things that we just need to basically redo so that we are at least looking good for the start of the event before we hit a wall but see these rods down here they hold my rear end together so the rear end's made to basically move when you hit walls um, and the rods bend and stuff this rod is missing completely because the last time we took this out look at look how bendy it is it's so good but it means that you can basically re-straighten the car back out and go back out and have it looking kind of semi pretty so these, if you guys didn't know, these are, this is a rear end of another car that just literally bolts up to the car and that way we can keep the car looking super straight and fresh. This side's looking pretty good, so we're happy with that, but yeah, the other side, we need to go ahead, cut the tacks off the flares, uh, open the door because it's four door, but we weld the flares over the doors and push the dent out of this door, straighten up this flare. Not gonna do too much, but just make a little, little bit more cosmetically beautiful. I've actually gone ahead and purchased a completely new body kit for this thing for 2023 so that's something to, to look forward to. We've also got a new motor as well going in for 2023 so and if you're a business that wants to get on board for the 2023 season hit me up but as it sits this thing needs to be good for this Friday so let's go ahead we're going to take off this flare or we'll cut the tacks we're going to straighten out this door. say that's uh, good enough for a drifter. Looks much better. Got some of the dent out. Obviously it was a pretty gnarly dent so we're never going to get it all out and make it look super good but that looks better. And then we've got the shape of the flare back which is nice as well so just used our hammer and dolly set and uh, got it pretty nice and straight so happy enough with that. Now we're rolling around the back just to get uh, the back straight again. So we have our rod here and the way the system works is just slides into these things here and they just tighten up like so and that way you can just reposition uh, the rear end whenever it gets out of shape boom straight back in there and these rods are replaceable uh, so at some point I'll replace this one but it doesn't need to really be right now um, and so what we're going to do is I've welded a little plate on there um, just because obviously it ripped all the, the metal out before so welded a plate on there and then that way I can reposition it pretty much to the position it needs to be in and then weld the rod back onto it. So should be all good, let's do that now. Hopefully we can get the rear nice and straight, or well, at least a little bit straight again. A lot of this is kind of pointless because probably first lap when we go out there, it is run the wall. We'll probably give the wall a good tap and all this will be a bit off center straight away. But I do like to turn up to the track with a car that somewhat looks, you know, looks full, looks the part. Obviously it won't look perfect, but it's still gonna look good 
because at the end of the day, drifting is a show. Uh, we like to put on a show for the, for the crowd and I like to represent myself in the best way possible. So to have a car that's you know got all the bumpers on, looks good, uh, doesn't have too many dents in it, all the lights work and all that jazz, um, especially when I'm representing my own businesses and stuff, it's important. So that's why we do this stuff, but uh, let's get this rod welded up. Beauty, so that rod is all welded in. Fantastic. The boot's a bit twisted, but we'll give it a good shot. If you push it down and shut it properly. Look at that. It's all even now, which is nice. And this side is nice and solid, which is what we want. I absolutely love this rear end because basically that means like this whole rear end here has lasted the whole season. As you can see, it's beaten up, but we, we can push it back every time and it actually looks pretty darn good um, as opposed to what we used to do which was when you'd hit like one side because there's no gap here the whole thing would twist and basically that was the end of that rear end you'd have to get a whole for a whole new one basically what we're done so um, it just makes so much more sense and it just means that even when you hit the wall as well it doesn't even upset the car anywhere near as much because it's got room to move and you just chuck it back in and away you go so amazing forward to the following day I got a bit caught up last night with a couple of things and all of a sudden the night was gone on me but we are here Waz is here he's getting his pink FD RX7 ready hell yeah and we've got the E36 on the ground so I've done pretty much everything uh, needed to be done well I have done everything needs to be done underneath bolt check and everything as well we've also got some neons we had to have some neon glow underneath to uh to make it look extra spicy so even got some in the engine bay as well which is pretty sweet and you can see it through the wheels as well which is cool so uh looks gangster we've got the angry angry eyes going on with our halo lights so only acceptable on a drift car uh on a street car they're just a bit p play to spec but nah they look awesome stoked so what we're going to go ahead now and do is put our side skirts on so as you can see the car looks a little bit high at the moment we use side skirts to make our car look dirty low, even though it's not dirty low. These are Toyota 86 side skirts, if you haven't seen my channel before. Uh, but they go like on the side, they're like super, super low, but I've been using tech screws to hold them on. Um, but we're gonna stop using tech screws and go ahead and use dress up washers. So we're going to rib nut some M6 rib nuts into the side of the car. Rib nuts, they're awesome. I've discovered them recently, even though I should have discovered them a long time ago, and they are fantastic. So we've got some purple dress-up washers as well from Two Step Garage, yeah, yeah. and uh, we're going to chuck them on. So let's go. All right, my battery went flat, so I'm not sure how much of the side skirt install we got on camera but the skirts are on now so it looks so cool with the skirts on this thing has had such a tough year so it's looking rugged as hell but hey it still looks good those dress up washes look way better than uh, tech screws as well so happy enough with that we're gonna go ahead now wash the car look at golden now man so good and then we should almost be ready to go drifting tomorrow She's all clean, looking fantastic. Ooh -wee. I've got some like strobe things here. I don't, I don't really show up on camera. Oh, they do a little bit, which is sick. Really trying to put on a big show tomorrow night, so have all the lights and everything blinking. Man, this thing is beat up, but it freaking has a stance about it. It looks so cool. Definitely happy with the look. Going for the similar-ish look next year, but we've got a full body kit ready for it, so gonna look even better but these side skirts 
absolutely make it look freaking fantastic. Ooh, super happy with this car. Performed so well this year. One more night. Let's freaking go. And that is where we're gonna wrap this video up, guys. I'm gonna go inside, change a whole bunch of tires, ready for tomorrow night. Freaking pumped. Can't wait to see all you guys out there and uh, shred some tires in the E36. I hope you enjoyed this chill video. Just hanging out at the shop, getting things done on the car. I will be filming tomorrow night as well, so I will put a video out because I feel like it's gonna be just a huge night in Melbourne for drifting, and it definitely needs to be showcased. Thank you guys so much, as always, for watching. Thanks for the support. I'll see you guys in the next video. You. Cheers. Peace. Bye.